just because of the nature of the good fight, I'm wondering if you have any predictions or any ideas you might know of, of how the show's energy might change with a new presidency on the horizon. Boy, that's the $64 million question. Uh, I talked to the writers. They were just opening up the writer's room and they did not know. They did not know. I'm, I'm hoping by now, a week later, they have some idea because do you or I know, does anybody know what inauguration day is going to be like? I, you know, our show, the, the, the wonderful thing about The Good Fight is it really takes place as much as possible in, in the here and now. It takes place in this historical moment, which is why when, you know, we were shooting the pilot and Donald Trump won the presidency instead of Hillary Clinton, we had to make a U-turn and happily we made the show about Diane's obsession and, and inability to cope with life in, uh, in the Trump era. But now that he's gone, but will he be gone? And are we going to be living in a post-truth world? Are we going to be living with conspiracy theories? And, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. A plus to say nothing you know, of, uh, you know, COVID and how are we going to do, how are we going to work in the office? Are we going to have masks on? Are we all going to Zoom? You know, I, I I don't know what they'll do for the new season, but it'll, it will be very ingenious because that's who they are. Yeah. I feel like uh, that show leaning into current events like that, it makes me hope that it goes on as long as you would like it to go on. I know because this show could go on because history will go on and it's going to probably get even more crazy than it's already been. So I, I really was very happy to be on the show at, at a moment in time when people people were questioning what is going on in our in our culture and in our democracy and we were actually doing a show with characters who were asking those same questions and trying to keep their bearing as lawyers and asking moral questions and ethical questions how do we deal with living in this dystopian era. And I don't think any other show really addressed it as directly as The Good Fight.